How you guys doing? This is Martin. You know me, 52, 16 years worth of retirement. Thought I was going to retire, but then there was a problem with the uh, COVID. Caused my retirement to drop. MBA from University of San Francisco. Bachelor degree from University of Davis. And today I was just thinking about what used to live in LA. How I used to go to the Man Chinese Theater. Who remember the Man Chinese Theater? The Egyptian Remember all those theaters that used to come along, along Hollywood Boulevard? Now, that's when the actors, like, when pe actors will get paid because of the theaters. You have the concessions, and you have the people buying stuff, per price of the tickets. So me, movie theaters made hundreds of millions of dollars, especially if it's a good movie. And that's why the actors were justifying those $100 million, $250 million paydays. That was just basically back 2018, 2019. Now let's cut to 2020. Kevin Feige. Streaming, Disney streaming is the way of the future. We're going to have stuff as good as that we have on the movie. What that is cold for saying is we're not going to be paying a whole bunch of money for salaries anymore. You guys know. Do you guys remember some of those shows that came out? You have the one person that was on. Even if the show would only last a couple of months after they got rid of the high paying guy. They just get rid of them and just say, well, that's okay. We'll just find somebody to replace you. That's what code is. You won't be seeing a $100 million actor. So if who's an actor? If you're an actor or actress, subscribe, comment, like, subscribe, comment, like. Let me know what you think, man. What is that saying? That is saying that there'll be, well, there'll be more, don't have your, your breath. It'll be not if you're working, they're saying the actors and actresses, they, they, there won't be a way to track how much a television show really makes. Because now the company can say, hey, we have a production, we have this, we have that. So we're not going to give you, what, $100,000, $50,000 for episode. If you don't like it, get the hell out of here. Let me tell you, $600,000 an episode for 10 years is $6 million. $600,000 per episode is $6 million compared to, hey, the salary of um, Harrison Ford, $15, $20 million a movie. What would you, where do these companies, these, these studios want to put their money? Think about it. Hey, I'll pay you guys. I can pay this whole cast $50,000, $30,000. That comes to $400,000 time for, that's $40 million, $4 million, say. And that's nothing close to the ten million, hundred million. What is Tom Cruise demanding? Thirty million dollars. That's why Tom Cruise is doing that Mission Impossible stuff. Smart guy. He, he's making his own movies and now taking it to Hollywood. So if you're an actor or an actress now, you got to learn how to market yourself now. Once you get on the studio, you got to say, "Hey, this is the salary. This is what I justify. Work on your negotiation skills." And that's why I come in. It's not just going to be me. I'm going to be working with their studios and I can help them. But we're going to have to like use the skills I've learned from Grant Cardone, a multi-billionaire in investment and sales. What I've learned from Brandon Dawson, he's an expert in just scaling, taking companies, increasing their worth by five to six times. As an actor, that's what you're going to need. You're going to have to learn how to market and brand yourself. That's why I say the, the payday of the million dollar actors and actresses is over. It, it's done. I can, you can have, you know what, you can have 10 flops of, say, $4 million shows total, but four, I mean, 400, you're talking about $400,000 for the first season, and that's not as if it was the same as the old days where they would have 10, 15 episodes. Hey, let's just pay everybody on the cast $800,000. They won't be that much, 200000 Time 10, 2 million. If it doesn't work, trash it. Now switch that around. Look if I was going to pay Will Smith for that one movie he did with the, dub, the double thing, whatever he was, chasing after himself. He, got, he paid 15, 20 million dollars. Um, uh, what is their name? Go to Cop, Warner Woman. Did you go, go back and watch my article how Warner Woman killed the high-paid actor and the Hollywood Democrats? That's how Hollywood Democrats are created. They got so much making, much money making this money. And then they just turned it around and, hey, we want to get into politics. We want to do this. We want to push this agenda, that agenda. Now, the, the, their agenda has been, as Arnold says, terminated, terminated. Uh, I've been the next three to four years. All those WandaVision, all those people who have those big contracts with Marvel Studios, done. So let me know what you think. Subscribe, comment, like, subscribe, comment, like. Do you see what I'm saying? Like how the streaming, th there'd be no way for them to prove 
it, it, the actor can show, hey, if I'm at that theater, I'll bring it in. Well, if you do it like with, with the um, streaming, you can just say, hey, I have a whole bunch of other actors. Why don't I get rid of you, see how things go. If things don't work out well, then I'll come back and bring you in. See? That's why it's killed us. It's going to kill the high-paid answer. And Disney just justified it today. Oh, Disney Vision is going to be as good as WandaVision. And our television series are going to be as good as our movies. That's code for we are no longer paying actors 5, 10. More. Robert Downey Jr., don't, don't call us. We'll call you is what that's saying. Basically what they're saying, Iron Man is dead. If you want to come back to television, you may get you a little boost. But we're not giving you no 5, 10, 15 million. You're done. You're terminated, as Arnold would say. Who, could, who would think that Disney and Warner Vision were strong enough to terminate the Hollywood Democrat and multi-million dollar actors? They're the socialists. They're the ones who are pushing this agenda. Let's all make money. Let's all be good. Let's be woke. And they turn around now. Hey, we're just going to stream everything. That's what I'm saying. you got to be as an actor and an actress. Call me. M-A-R-T. Go to my website on, the, on this thing. Get, in, get involved. Let me help you. Let me at least help you with your skills when you're going in and talking. A lot of you actors are working for free. Does it, ain't nobody going to pay you working for free unless you're doing porn or something. Let me show you how to help you. You don't need to be going to acting school no more. Look at these rappers. LL Cool J, Will Smith. Go to acting school after you get an actual acting job. Until then, let me help you. I want to be there for you, man. Disney and Warner Brother are killing the high-paid actors. They're done. You streaming people are in a whole new world. You have Tom, what's his name? Uh, Tom Hanks. Oh, I thought streaming was coming. He was getting paid $15, $20 million a movie. And this guy has the nerve to say, oh, yeah, streaming is the future. Hey, bro, why don't you help your streaming brothers out? Why don't you kick us down the checks from that one movie you did, Castaway or something, where you were fucking around with the ball? Why don't you hook us up with that homeboy? Who else? Tom Cruise, I think, said something. I think George, uh, I'm not sure. I may be getting this wrong. George Clooney may have said something as well. But I'm just like, these hypocrites, man. That's Hollywood for you. That's a Hollywood Democrat. That's why they're dead. They say do one thing, but then they do another. Do you see? Subscribe, comment, like. Subscribe, comment, like. How many of you are at acting school? Is this going to be the streaming actor? We'll go into this later. We're going to talk about. I'm going to give you the definition of screen. What's streaming? Let's let's look at what streaming is. You know what streaming is? Streaming is a television series. Screen. What is screen? Screens mean we actually have a production studio. We're filming and we're going to take that distribution to like a to a theater where people come in and pay money, eat popcorn. We have an environment where they're not at home watching it, but they're in a better environment. So you see you see the difference, how you can make hundreds of million dollars an actor in a theater. Hey, he helped us sell popcorn. Hey, you better pay that guy. You better, okay, okay. Now it's like, there's no popcorn. There's no theater building. There's no pressure from the, the what is it, Regal, all these other theaters, Cinema World and stuff about what to do. Now it's just, hey, we may have some money for people to come, but it's not the same. That's what I'm saying. Subscribe, comment, like, subscribe, comment, like. I know I, I grew up in L.A. I used to go down to, the reason I know so much about downtown from Hollywood and stuff, because I used to stop on the porn stores on the way to the Egyptian or the way to the Man Chinese or after. I used to go down there because I went to all guy high school. We'll talk about that later. But I know all about those theaters, watching the movies, Lethal Weapon and all that. Big environment, popcorn, drink. Just a few years ago, I think I went and saw Alien Covenant. I almost cut my own, almost blew my own stomach out after watching such a bad movie. Oh, I hated that movie, man. Ah, oh, man, if you want to, you want, if you want to kill me, if you want to torture the brother, put me in front of Alien Covenant, especially the ending. I want to know how David supposedly killed this one robot. Now he's taking the whole, on the same personality as the robot that he killed. That made no sense, that switch. Better to rain in heaven or some stupid... Like, oh, I hate that movie. But you see, but 94 million, it made 200 million worldwide. So if I was an actor, even if it was a bomb, if I was an actor in a movie, I could say, hey, give me some money. Give me a hundred million. Give me a million, two million for my next movie. You see how I brought that many people in the theater or something. You can see, like, the people are reviewing me. You see the power of the movie theater? But now streaming is basically 
this. This is streaming. This is me. Hi, my name is Martin. Would you like to sign up for Costco Home Decorating? Hey, this is Martin. Would you sign up? like to sign up for Credit Repair Pro? Hi, this is Martin. I work at Disneyland. What type of hamburger would you like, sir? This is streaming. That's the difference. Screen is a big screen. Streaming is me. I'm talking to you. Hey, my smart. How you doing? I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Bye-bye. That's why it's going to kill the high-paid actor. And all those people on these Disney movies. What is her name? Wanda and Paul. They're, hey, we're happy to be on Disney streaming. We're happy. Your brothers are selling you out, man. You ain't going to get paid no two or three hundred thousand dollars. No episode. Fight. That's what I'm saying. Come to me. Email me. Let's talk some more. Subscribe, comment, like. Subscribe, comment, like. Let me know what you think. Heading off to church now. Cougar hunting. I'm gone. Now I'm really just going to go church to listen to some one preach. But if there's a woman in her 50s or 60s who wants to supposedly take advantage of me and go to the sinful side, I'm there too. But Disney and Kevin Feige today just killed the rest of the high-paid actors and the Hollywood Democrats. Let me know what you think. Give me 10 likes by the end of the day. Talk to you later.